The OCT EX is one of my all-time favorite mice and now that it's wireless, it's of course going to be my new number one, so let's go through the reasons as to why that is. First of all, we know that the Vaxi wireless performance is absolute top-notch. They could achieve lower click latency if they would use 0 millisecond deep on setting, but that's not something they've chosen to do. But their motion latency is as low as you can get with 1000Hz wireless mice at the moment. And there are no issues with polling stability or interference, and Vaxi even has a solution for slam clicks. Secondly, the clicks are very functional in-game, so they are light and easy to actuate and easy to spam. The click feel is also decently tactile and there are no issues with side play, post travel or pre travel. Overall, the experience is maybe a little bit mushier than it is on my NPC One S wireless, but that may be due to unit to unit variants. The third reason, then again, is going to be the feel of the mouse, and quality is also part of that. And it's very good on my unit as there are no real issues with the side button, side flex, or rattle, for example. For the feel, then again, I've always been a big fan of Vaxi's coatings and they do feel premium for me. Combining this coating with Vaxi's usual click feel and their mouse designs and you get a very premium feeling product. The fourth reason, then again, is going to be the shape. And the OZT X is a very unique mouse, although it does share some similarities with the Lamsu Thorn and the Zawi EC2. But the in-hand feel is very unique and very versatile with the OZT X. The shape is very good for aggressive claw, relaxed claw, tilt gripping and even pincer claw. You can also sort of palm grip the mouse, but the hump profile makes it a little bit uncomfortable for me at least. Due to the size and depending on how you grip the outset AX, it can actually feel a little bit more like the Death Adder V3 Pro for you than the Lamsu Thorn. To me the in-hand feel of the outset AX is more similar to the Thorn, but there are differences and the outset AX is of course larger as well. Just if you happen to be interested, the way I grip the outset AX at the moment is very different to the way I used to grip the mouse. These days I'm trying to hold the mouse in a very relaxed way, so for example my thumb is barely putting any pressure on the mouse. The same applies for my pinky and my ring finger and where a lot of the stability and control comes for me is from palm contact. And with the outset AX for example, the bottom of my palm is still touching the mouse and giving me all of that stability. For a fairly long time, with my sensitivity and the way I play, I've had some issues with some micro adjustments. And using less force with my fingers makes me able to do these smaller adjustments much easier. Adjusting my grip has not been very hard because I've used so many mice and so many different shapes in the past with different kind of grip styles. So it's pretty fast for me to adjust to a new shape or a new grip style. But one thing that always helps me are grip tapes. So I use these pre-cut grip tapes from X-Ray Pad and I use fairly small ones. This is a little bit larger one, but basically I place them where I want to put my fingers or even a little bit more forward. So this thumb placement is basically where I actually used to have my finger. But the way I want to grip it now is that my thumb just touches the grip tape a little bit on the left side right here. And on the right side, I curl my fingers a little bit more than I usually would be, so the, my fingers are hitting this sort of the back edge of the grip tape. And that's usually the way I want to get used to a new grip style or a, a new shape. Something that helps me a little bit in the process. And yeah, grip tapes are especially good if you are trying to use less tension when you grip the mouse. So if you use a lot of force when you grip the mouse with your thumb and your ring and pinky, meaning that you pretty much death grip the mouse, that is bad for your wrist and in my opinion for your aim as well. I just at least do not feel quite as mobile, quite as accurate when I'm death gripping the mouse. So when I'm just relaxed gripping the mouse, it's easier for me to do those micro adjustments and be more precise. These are basically the main four reasons as to why I consider this my new number one or my new favorite. And I wouldn't say that one of these features is more important than the other. Comfort is key for me in-game and that comes from many things such as click feel, coding, shape and even mouse feet. There are quite many mice that hit the sweet spot for me in terms of these features. And that's when the wireless performance and reliability becomes important for me. 
One thing to talk about is the weight of the outset AX wireless. So this weighs 74 grams. It's well balanced and for this size I do not consider this heavy by any means. In hand it actually feels quite lightweight and definitely lightweight enough for me. Don't get me wrong, I would enjoy it if it were 65 grams or 60 grams or something like that, but I do not think that this it's needed for this kind of shape. Overall, this is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. There are no surprises, as it's pretty much the standard from Vax C. One thing maybe I want to mention is that the wired outset AX that I have here has a little bit more premium feeling clicks than the wireless one that I have here. The difference is very slight though and I still consider these to be very good and nice for gaming especially because they are so light. Uh, other than that, that's basically it for this one. It's going to be my main mouse which most likely was not a surprise for many of you guys who have been following me for quite a while. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.